Hi everyone, welcome back to our YouTube channel Zero Analyst. In this video, I'm going to solve one of the SQL questions that was asked very recently to one of my subscribers. It's a super easy question, but this can be very complex if you have not solved this type of problems. So let's go ahead and see how to tackle this type of question and how to solve this type of problems in interview. So here is the question. It was asked to one of my subscriber. And if you see, you have a table with a two columns. In one column, you have employee ID, which is one, two, three, four, five. And uh, in the second columns, you have values uh, separated by comma. So uh, it's a list of values you can see, which is like 23, 25, 56, 54, 67, maybe some input, right? So this is the data that we have. So for this employee ID one, if you see, we have a total six uh, numbers, right? If you see for this, we have a total five, right? For the third one, we have a four and the fourth one, we have four and the, five, uh, the employee ID five, we have the five total inputs. Now, if you see, this is the output the interviewer is looking for employee ID and the number of input that we have for that employee, right? This is what we need to return. So if we count it, it's very simple, right? We have one, two, three, four, five. So this is what the interviewer is looking for. Now, the challenge is that how do we approach this type of problem and how we can solve this type of interview questions, right? So I have already created the table. I will include the code in the video descriptions, which you can download and you can practice the same problem. Let me first explain with an example how we are going to solve this problem. So I have Excel file where I have two examples to explain this concept to you. The approach that we're going to use to solve this problem. Okay. Now, if you see here, we have a three number, right? One, two, three. Total three numbers we have and uh, there are two comma we have, right? If you want to find out the len, it is going to be kind of one, two, three, four, five, six because we have total six characters here and uh, we have two comma. So basically, if I check the len, it is going to be eight, right? So if I check the len for this, it is going to be eight right now, right? So same way, if I check the len for this, okay? So if you see the len for this, it is going to be what? It is going to, because see, I have simply removed the comma from here. So I have kind of total six numbers here, right? So it is going to be basically six. Now, if I minus from this eight, which is the actual length, uh, to this length, which is by removing this two comma. So what is I'm having? Okay, you will see the number of comma that I have. I will have it here. Okay, I will say eight minus, oops, eight minus this. Okay, so this shows that the number of commas that we have because from this to this, I have just removed the commas. Okay, so that means the actual length, it was eight and I have removed the comma. Now I have the length without the comma, which is six. So the number of comma I have in this text is kind of two. Okay. So because we have two comma, so obviously we have three elements here. So what I will do is that I will simply add one along with this. Okay. If I just go ahead and add one, I have the results. So I have three elements. Okay. Same way if you see this example, we have a uh, four numbers and uh, three comma here, right? So four characters and three comma total the length is going to be kind of, if I check the length here, it's going to be seven, right? If I remove the comma because we have three comma, so basically this length is going to be four, right? You can see it already here. Now, if I want to find out how many commas were there, so I would simply need to minus from this actual length to kind of this uh, length, which is after remo removing the comma, which is three. Okay, so three comma means four elements, right? Because one element comma, then the second element, right? So one comma means two element. So that means whatever the number of commas we have, we just need to add one more with that. And that is how we will be able to get the number of elements. This is the same approach I'll be using to solve this uh, problem. Okay, so let's go to PG admin four and let's see how we can implement it here. So let's go ahead and say that what I want to check this length for this column, which is called values. Okay, so I will simply go ahead and write call length. Okay, length for this, which is called values. The column name is values. Okay, and I will say call maybe total length. Okay, I'm just giving a random name here. If you see the length, it is showing 17. Okay, now if you remember here, we have a five comma here, okay? So one, two, three, four, five comma, that means we have six numbers here. One, two, three, four, five, six, right? Obviously, because five comma, six numbers. And here we have four commas, uh, that means we have five numbers here. So one, two, three, four, five, okay? Let's now go ahead and replace this comma and then check the length, okay? So how you replace and check the length is going to be a very simple approach. So we can simply go ahead and say that uh, this length, and uh, we want to check the length, but we want to uh, replace the comma, okay? So here, what I will do is that I will be using uh, one approach simple, which is called replace. And I will say from these values, I wanna replace, which is called this comma with nothing, okay? With this empty string, okay? 
and then I would want to check the length and this is I'm going to call it length a two okay length maybe length two okay so let's go ahead and now check it you will see that I have the length which is after removing the comma so obviously I had here 17 characters if you see here the length was 17 and right now the length is 12 because there was 5 comma here I had kind of 12 characters and the right now it is kind of 8 because I have 4 commas right this is how I got to know okay how many commas are there now we have almost solved the problem what we just need to do is that very simple we can simply go ahead and minus from this to this and then we can simply add one that's how we will be getting the results how see if if you see this this has a 17 characters length and this is uh, having 14 because we have removed the commas how many commas are there one two three four five so we have removed five commas so basically then length is going to be 17 minus 5 which is going to be 12 right so what you simply need to do is that now if i just go ahead and minus 17 minus 12 i will be getting the number of commas that i had right so it's going to be 5 correct so 17 minus 12 it is going to be kind of 5 so but i have only removed five commas so if i have removed five commas that means i had six element correct so here if you see i had uh, again which is called 12 characters i have removed uh, four commas and the length is after removing comma which is eight so that means i have removed here four commas right and if you see that means if the four comma is there then it is going to be five uh, total number of length what you have here right so to solve it what i will do is that i will simply go ahead and say from this i want a minus which is going to be this right cool and uh, this is going to be my this i'll just remove this aliases from here and from this i'm just minusing this and i will just write it in the next line okay from this i am minusing this and uh, i will just name it call uh total total elements okay let's say total elements now this is telling the total number of commas i have right so i will say uh total total commas total commas that i had uh, in this characters right if i now run this query you will see that it is telling that i had uh, five commas here here i have four four commas here i have three commas here i have two commas and here i have four commas now you can verify it see we have three uh, two commas here that means we have three elements so the number of commas plus one is going to be going to be our the number of elements right so i would simply need to add a plus one here and i can just call it uh, number of elements right number of elements okay so same way the way i have shown you in excel the same using same approach we have solved the problem now if you see we have six numbers here we have five numbers here we have four numbers here that means three comma we have three numbers here that means two commas and we have which is called five numbers here we have four commas right this is how we have solved this problem that's it for this video guys thank you so much for watching the video till here if you have any interview question that you want me to include in this uh, series so do share the questions with me so that i can include the questions in the upcoming videos take care bye bye have a good day